Recently, we did a full tutorial for bending empty conduit arches and circles with a hand bender. And this solution I'm gonna be sharing today might be easier and more cost effective depending on your specific project. So first, what exactly is the solution? So this is half inch PVC pipe inside of our three quarter inch EMT connectors. We've talked about doing this a lot on the channel. I'll link a couple of videos down below in case you haven't seen them, but you do just have to shim the gap depending on the size of pipe that you're putting inside the connector. Again, that's something you'll wanna check out in those videos because we explain it there um, you know, a lot better than I can do it here in a quick and short video. But basically this is half inch PVC inside this connector here. And I just bent the PVC by hand over into another connector. And then this cross pipe with EMT conduit is holding that arch rigid and keeping it from springing back. Now it's not entirely easy because you do have to fight against the spring back of the PVC uh, whenever you're trying to bend it. So it might be helpful to have another hand or two to kind of help you make the shape. But once you get it and you secure everything together, you have the same kind of arch that you can create with a hand bender. And it really just depends on what you're doing. So in Harold's build, uh, he was making a, an arch or half circle effect for lights. And you can see and just know that the lights aren't gonna be that heavy. So it really doesn't make sense to use a steel piece of conduit to support that weight because PVC can do it just fine. And that's exactly what he did. And it looks great and it's working well. And I think this can be useful for all kinds of stuff especially if you're just looking to create the shape and not necessarily support any weight with the arch. So for example, you could be making a cover for something, maybe like a boat or a lawnmower or whatever it may be, and you really just need to get that arch shape and make it easier to slide a tarp or cover over top of the build. And you could do this solution with PVC and still be able to support the material depending on how much it weighs and you know cover whatever it is you're trying to cover and not have to you know, spend more for conduit and get the hand bender and go through all that. And like I said earlier, you do have to add something to add the rigidity uh, for the actual arch or half circle. And the way I've done it here and the way that Harold did it was just by adding that cross pipe, but you could also incorporate this into a full build. Maybe you have a you know, cube structure that you're building and you wanna just add a T connector off of the cube and then just have a PVC you know, um, arch that goes from one side to the other. And also, I just remembered too, uh, to calculate the same kind of arch and everything like that, you can actually use the calculator that we used in that bin tutorial video and figure out what you need uh, as far as the length goes for the arch, because I basically just got the same measurements from the calculator that I did for this bend, or all of these incremental bends, and then just you know cut this PVC to length and then bent it over. So that's something I wanted to mention too, might make it even easier to do this kind of a solution. But I think this is super clever. So huge shout out to Harold for sharing this. And let me know down below if you think it'll be useful for your project as well. Thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next one.